Well, Neil Johnson uh, here at PGA Tour, uh, pre-qualifying for the Farmers Insurance Open, and uh, a tough day. I mean, a 72, not too bad, but uh, given what uh, the conditions were out there, I would expect a lot of low stuff coming in. How did you feel about the way you played and uh, in this uh, second attempt at trying to get on the tour? Yeah, I think, I think bottom line, I think I'm going to come up a short, couple short, whether it's whether it's one or two. Um, uh, I mean, I had a chance to kind of. To, to get it into the 60s, which would have been great, but I had, you know, I had five bogeys today without without any penalty strokes, without a three putt, without uh, stuff like that. So it's like five bogeys are just they're just a couple of, I guess, a couple of sloppy bogeys, but they're also kind of rusty too. I misjudged the wind a couple of times, and then I carried that over right into the next hole, and then underjudged the wind or, or vice versa. So that was kind of giving me giving me some uh, some fits and, and some struggles, and I think just in general the this course or just today whatever kind of whatever weaknesses I have right now or whatever uh, kind of rust I have it just exposed that sure yeah so I was uh, I was grinding hard most of the day yeah the distance control on the approach shots is that you know wind related was it just confidence in terms of you know trying to figure out what this course was giving it was it, it was it started with just confidence I mean just for two weeks or a couple weeks here I guess since I got back from Hawaii uh, it's been so cold and gray and cloudy in Arizona the ball's been going nowhere mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden today, you know, early on, I hit a couple solid shots and then jumped. And I'm like, ooh, all right, now it's maybe back to normal yardages. And then I started feeling some wind, and I'm like, okay, maybe now it's, do I do I play the, the, but, yeah, which yardages do yeah. I play? So it it it, it kind of just got me second guessing a lot. You look like a guy who was trying out new clubs, and all of a sudden really? going further, oh, they're yeah. going further than you thought. And you're going hot now. How do I control this? How do I yeah, make this that's, uh, a problem all day long? Yep, yeah, that's what it felt like. I mean, on the when I made the turn on one, two, and four, um, I hit the same club, you know, from three different yardages, and one of them was way short, one of them was way long, the other one was about hole high, about right. But it was right. just like, uh, yeah. So I guess I just I guessed wrong a few too many times, you know, and then that exposed. A couple, a couple short game things here and there. I mean, short game saved me, you know, a few right. other times today. But then there were just a couple times where it was just tight little shots or tricky little shots, and it's like, oh, all right, all right, this is, feels a little uncomfortable for um, for where my game's at right now. But yeah, I mean, you, you make the, the birdie on 18, then you turn, and then you go bogey, 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 bogey. Is, you yeah. Know, you had with, a great, great energy going off the back nine. Yep, and from the middle of the fairway on one and two. With, with a gap wedge in my hand, I go bogey, bogey. And it was like, okay, the one shot, oh, sorry, the shot on the first hole on, yeah, on number one was, I forgot it was into the wind. Mm -hmm. I forgot it was gonna knock it down. So I hit a soft gap wedge and the wind kills, it comes up short. Then the next hole, uh, similar yardage, all of a sudden I'm like, okay, knock this one down, flight it, and I just flush it right through the wind and it goes over the back of the green. And it's like, oh, well, those are, those aren't bogeys I like to make. You know, with the wedge in your hand from the middle of the fairway, it's pretty much, just you taking dead aim, but uh, yeah, I just wasn't quite as confident with exact yardages, so it, it, it showed, and, and I paid the price. <laughs> yeah, and, and on a day like today, we talked about it a couple weeks ago. Uh, you know, these California qualifiers are going to be pretty cutthroat with uh, just the eight of a spot. Um, mm -hmm. Did you have a magic number in mind, and, and how does that kind of you know play into your approach when you arrive at, at something like this? Yeah, it it it, it plays it plays in a little bit. I. I I guess I figured if, if I was in the 60s, you know, or three under, or, but certainly four under would, would, would have been good, you know, and and then as, as the round kept going, or as the round kind of progressed, I was like, you know, so there's some really tough pins out here, the par threes had some tough pins, so I started thinking maybe only, you know, one under, two under, mm -hmm. um, you know, so it, I try not to let that enter my head, but, you know, it was, it was also kind of one of those things making the turn after a great birdie on 18, I'm two under. And the swing felt good, and I was kind of cruising, and it's like all of a sudden I take a couple holes off, right. you know, and you make bogey, bogey, and it's like, wait a minute, like you could have easily made another birdie there. So it was a little bit of the rust in the head too, of like, mm -hmm. okay, I kind of checked out, and I, I didn't check out, but I kind of just took the foot off the pedal, I guess, and didn't didn't stay focused for a couple holes, and then left me, you know, even par with seven to go, and it's like, geez, you're gonna have to make some birdies now, and, yeah. and uh, I tried, just again, kind of hit it close with the irons when I needed to. We'll be back here in a couple of weeks for the Genesis. Did you learn anything about the course today? And uh, yeah. do you feel that you know slowly but surely you're getting where you want to be to to you know have a have a good shot at these things? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm getting there slowly but surely. I hope it's a little quicker. I mean, but I but at least at least I know what I need to work on. I mean, the the bogeys I had today kind of all 
uh, you know, they're all kind of simple, self-explanatory. Like it wasn't a gigantic miss with the driver. It wasn't a you know really bad three pot or anything like that. It was just like okay, it's just a couple little couple things with the distance control with the irons, and it's like okay, I can get on the range and do that. You know, everything else seemed to be um, seemed to be pretty close to where I'd like it. You know, so if I can get some good practice in, um, when I come back here, I'll feel. I feel quite a bit more comfortable, at least knowing. I mean, because this, this green, or sorry, this course, I haven't played it for a tournament so for such a long time mm -hmm. that I forgot, you know, the greens, how so many false edges, false fronts, and the ball. I mean, I think I had a couple balls roll off, you know, that, or at least I had a chip roll off, you know, and stuff. Yeah, right. And that, and that just that plays more into, or th that even affects your distance control even more because mm -hmm. you're like, geez, where can I even hit this to keep this right. on the green? Where's kind of the safe spot I can hit it? And then you don't want to get above these greens, or sorry, above these holes at all. And yeah. a couple times a day when I hit solid irons, I'm like, oh, I hit that one too good almost now. I'm above the hole. So, yeah, a couple weeks and I come back out, hopefully it's sharp and at least know, at least can kind of see where I'm going to hit it. I know what I'm going to hit the distance sure. and then hit it there. And and if uh, whatever, whatever else pops up, whatever, you know, bogeys pop up that day, that's fine. But at least it's not air mailing the green or... right leaving it way short with a wedge so yeah try not to stress out your game next time right because it seemed like there was a lot of stress yeah, it was a lot of stress yeah, yeah it was it was it was a grind just from the get-go I mean from the first hole it was just yeah. like wow and I did I battled back nicely mm-hmm and thank you know thank goodness for par fives yeah that's right <laughs> and I, I needed I mean I don't know what the number will end up being but that last hole like I, I knew I needed birdie and I'm just yeah. like you got to get this birdie you know it's such a reachable par five and such a good chance yeah. and I was right where I needed to be with a simple pitch and you know, didn't get it that close, and then missed the little eight footer. But uh, you know, the rest of the round, the par fives, at least got me back into it. Definitely. Yeah. Well, it was good to watch, and good luck next time. All right. Thanks, Rob. Thanks.